Maybe it's bad luck, or maybe it's just putting yourself in the wrong place at the wrong time. But such trouble has defined the season for young Dean Copeland. It happened not once, but twice at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. Then it happened again, destroying a great day at Mid-Ohio. And all of this has left Copeland angry, frustrated, and more determined than ever. And today he's back at Road America as the defending race winner and a man on a mission. The Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup is coming up next on the Mazda Motorsports Hour. America. We're in Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin for the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup here on the Mazda Motorsports Hour. I'm Rick Benjamin. Road racing ace Randy Popes is alongside and Mazda star Sylvain Tremblay will have our coverage today down on Pitt Road. Randy, this is one of the racetracks I don't know anybody who does not like coming here. It's a beautiful classic circuit and we've got a real story of the tortoise and the hare here. The tortoise, Aramal Cassian, consistent. The hare, McAleer, two wins. And they're bracketed by the six sideways teammates, Christian Zubzak second, John Dean fourth, Dean with a big penalty after mid-Ohio. Here's Sylvain Tremblay with more. Here with John Dean uh, after a track record qualifying performance and, you know, obviously the, the, the penalty. Does that change your mindset a little bit for this weekend? Um, well, the mindset coming in was just to, just to be, you know, near the front. And uh, obviously now with the pole, you know, we're just going to run as hard as we can right from the get-go and see, see, where, see where we lie at the end. Excellent. Good run today. Thank you. All right, so John Dean will start this race from the inside of row number one. And Randy, this, of course, a timed event, probably 15, 16, 17 laps around this four-mile racetrack. Show us what this place is all about. It's a long one. Road America's got a long straight up into turn one and another long one coming back to turn five. And then a lot of high-speed stuff, a lot of variety. It's a great circuit. It involves drafting. In the MX-5 Cup, it's about to draft. Cars rolling off pit road. We've got something spectacular for you today. A lot of onboard looks. Our replay XD cameras will be with Aram Alkasian. Stephen McAleer, Elliot Skier, Jeff Mosing, who starts in the front of this field. Christian Simsack, one of the championship contenders. We're going to give you the driver's eye view of this race today at Road America. And Randy, I know you've got our keys to the race. What all drivers are first thinking of at Road America is long straightaways, high speed. And what that means is the draft, the draft, the draft, line up, two cars are faster than one, three are faster than two, and then you got to break late. Same reason as the straight. And the speed and the kink. Carousel of the kink is like a long straight heading for Canada Corner. It's an amazingly challenging facility here. I know you're going to enjoy our coverage today. John Dean on the pole. We heard from him a moment ago. Stephen McAleer, now the championship leader. Road two, the Mazda Speed rookie contender, Elliot Skier, our scholarship driver, and Jeff Mosing out of Austin, Texas, making his second start of the year. There's Christian Simsack, one of the championship contenders. Dean Copeland, who won here a year ago and feels this series owes him a win or two before we're done. We're just at the midway point of the 2012 season. And moving down into the next row, we've got Nathaniel Sparks, one of those individual guys that I'm rooting for. Tim Probert coming along very well, Road America in 10th place. Back to the sixth row, Dan Bender, Brett Mosing, Jeff's brother, will make another start in the 10 car. Then we've got Charles Packin lining up 13th in the 27. The true car entry of Emily Timinovich back in 14th. Beth Christ out of Herndon, Virginia, and Steve Molnar will make up the eighth row today here at Road America. And Diane Mould will be shotgun on the field in the 51 car. We've got Skip Barber challenge entries, the Mazda Speed Pro Challenge. Ryan Hickson and Andrew Hobbs, Zachary Lee, and David Knight will be our four contenders in the Skip Barber Mazda Speed Pro Challenge. Single file down through the S's. They'll line up two by two and get set to start here at Road America. Randy, one of the guys to watch today, I think, is Dean Copeland. He'll start back in the third row. You know what? Dean must have a magnet in that car. He's been hit by everything but the pace car. He's been up front. Uh, it's one of those situations where he's been fast just about every week, but he's got to put it all together today. He talked to Sylvain earlier. I'm here with Dean Copeland, who's had a fantastic season as far as speed, just not getting the results. I mean, I can relate to where we've had seasons where we're incredibly fast, just can't close the deal. So how frustrating is that, Dean? Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, it's just, it's horribly frustrating. I mean, you know, we're a father-son deal here, and we've put, you know, all our, our efforts into it. I mean, we got a brand new build, and it's awesome. I mean, Dad's putting the setups on it. I can't really ask for much more. It's just, you know, I, I, we just got to just get some luck. Just, you know, close the deal, like, like as you just mentioned. And um, if we can get a little bit of luck on our side, I think we're a real threat. It's just, you know, we just need that one missing element. 
Well, like I keep saying, I got to admire a guy doing it with his dad. No question about it. It's not easy when you've got four car teams in a couple of cases that you're fighting week in and week out. Oh boy, this reminds me of World Challenge. Yeah. I think those are the same lights we use in the K-Pax Volvo. Here we go. Tempers are high, clutches up, boom, off they go. Here we go. Glad to have you with us for the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup on the Mazda Motorsports Hour. Accelerating away from the standing start, our driver's seat coverage. On board here with Aram Alcasian, getting around the 17 car. He got Jump off out the line yeah. well. One of the six sideways entries on board with Simzak, who's fifth right now. There's Copeland around the outside in turn one. That's a gutsy pass, putting two wheels on the curb. Now they're heading into turn three, and it's going to lead on that long back straight. It's our first look at the draft. Stephen McAleer, a guy who's contending for the championship, races out of the New York area right now. And Elliot Skier, our Mazda Speed scholarship winner this season. Well, he'll be looking through his windshield as well under the Sargento Bridge, heading downhill here at Road America. We're probably 110, 150. 15. There's the draft. Look at that McAleer pull up. Looking out the back end of Dean's machine. McAleer trying to go by. They go two, maybe three wide for a moment. Jeff Mosing trying to hold position. Oh, you couldn't get a piece of paper through there, and I can see what's happening. Skier is trying to get on the tail of McAleer. And you know in this situation, you got to keep your momentum up and not lose the draft. Oh, yeah, and they're up into turn five, and it doesn't, it doesn't oh, look oh. like they've got it yet. Well, a lot of dirt for Mosing. Mosing has to grab a gear, goes plowing up some of the turf here. Take a look at that side-by-side -side battle. Here's Copeland getting into the hunt, trying to pick up a spot behind Skier. The side-by-side -side is helping John Dean get away. Jeff Mosing, take a look out the back end of his Alara machine. Beautiful dive bound pass there, but he held up everybody else, and it's helping Marcassian get away. Into the carousel now. Back this is the exhaust. The Are they flat? They're flat. Oh, yeah, flat out all the way around the carousel. Got a lot of handling for the power. The MX-5s are about handling. Jeff Mosing putting two wheels off again. Now for Mosing, who's only doing this part-time this season, he's got to be really careful. These BF Goodrich radials, very durable tires, but you can't go off into the weeds too often. Uh, they've got their trail tires, and these ain't them. <laughs> On board again with Jeff Mosing in that draft. Mosing's a new guy. Well, he's not new, but he's new at the front of the pack. He's having a good weekend, so I think he's a little hot. You know, he's ready to go. On board with Elliott Skier, looking back at Dean Copeland. These are top three contenders. Wow, these cars are all over the place. The first lap is wild in MX-5 Cup. They're two wide, they're oh, three wide, and one's in the grass. Off. <laughs> Not a problem, he's coming Tim right Prober, back on. I believe, yeah, right off to the right and then back on as we take a look back at some of the other contenders here. We're out of 14, we're on the front straight, going up that steep hill. Copeland's pulling out too soon, boy. You got to stay in the draft and let the speed build. Top five, very close together here at Road America. Oh, yeah, look at the teammates, side by side. Dean Copeland gunning for second spot here. Oh, he's running good on the top end. I can't believe he's pulled by Skier there. And down into turn one on board with John Dean. Fourth, once third, can't get it done. Okay, they're lining up a little bit more peaceful now. You'll we'll see <laughs> how these guys run down the straights. Turn three, very important because it leads on the second of the two long straights here at Road America. Back on board, watching off the back end of Elliott Skier's machine. Copeland has taken second away. That's Dean in the 16 and fourth spot. Man, you see how evenly matched they are. Oh, yeah. I mean, those guys went to that corner at the exact same speed. But now we're on the straight. See him sucking up. That's the slipstream. That's that draft. Copeland pulling out. Elliott Skier will tuck in behind. Dean will as well. They're going to try to get the lead away from Stephen McAleer, and Copeland does it. Look at that. They pull clear by him and into the lead. That's the draft working. And the danger, in this case, for the driver of this machine, you're going to get freight trains. Stephen McAleer on the, on the outside, nobody to help him. Yeah, you got to figure the whole race is going to look like that if we're lucky. I like it. Looking back at John Dean's car coming toward the carousel. The lead pack is still together, even with all the passing. Out front, it's Copeland. Uh-oh, Copeland's in front. You know what happens. Elliott Skier in second spot. The two six sideways cars next in line. Copeland into the left-hander here. He's got a little entry over steer. You see that little correction he threw in? Now he's into the carousel. Looks to me like the NX-5s are doing this flat out. And you're probably in fourth gear here, it looked like. And I think I heard Dean lift right when I said flat out. <laughs> but fourth gear, yeah, I would guess, I'd guess that. Back on board with John Dean, our driver's seat coverage here at Road America today. Oh, and here's the kink. This is so fast through here. You've just got to maintain that speed, use a little curb on the exit. And we got to run. Dean's got a little run there. Breaks the draft, looks to swing by on the bottom. 
got his nose down. He's going to get some help off Skier's car, I would imagine, into the right hand. The big brake zone into Canada corner. I think he's got the position, unless he just ran the other guy off the road. <laughs> Anything's possible with these guys. And, you know, we're now, this is race six of an 11 race season. Some of these guys have developed real rivalries. There's no love lost here among some of these drivers. Yeah, Dean Copeland is carrying a, a grudge yeah. for two of them I know of. Yeah, absolutely. McAleer in the 28 car has a couple of wins under his belt. Looking back at Jeff Mosing off the final turn up the hill here at Road America. You see him using every bit of the curb and every bit of the curb behind the curb. I love these in-car views. They're so realistic. John Dean in second spot in the white 16 car gets by Elliott Skier. Great battle for fourth as well. Another couple of battles lined up behind. The fans are loving it here. Our driver's seat coverage from Road America will continue in a moment. Back at Road America on the Mazda Motorsports Hour. Coverage of the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup alongside Randy Pope, Steinberg Benjamin, Sylvain Tremblay handling the chores for us today down on pit road. Dean Copeland in second, but he wants the lead on the front straightaway, Randy. And Dean must have got a good run off of 14 because he's pulled up next to him and he's got some friends pushing him up the straight. John Dean to his left, Elliott Skier right behind. Got other cars in the mix as well. As we take a look at your running order, three wide into turn one. Oh yeah, let's see if they all come out. Whoa. I'm telling you, that was a wild one there. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying, that wasn't quite more number one, but uh, almost. <laughs> yeah, I think they all made it, though. I love the in-car views. They're, they're just so realistic. Our driver's seat coverage for you of John Dean's machine looking ahead at a couple of the leaders. Okay, now John didn't get that great a run off that corner, but Copeland sure did. That's not the draft there. He's gotten himself a good corner exit. It looks like he's going to take somebody with him again. Copeland Motorsports Black number seven trying to get back by Stephen McAleer's C.J. Wilson entry to take the lead back. That's Elliott Skier, and you just go as deep as you dare. This is a downhill break zone into turn five. Skier on the bottom of the racetrack makes the move, passes McAleer, picks up another position, and we've seen these top four or five swap the lead back and forth these first four laps, Randy. I'll tell you, it's one of the fun things about racing at Road America, but it's frustrating for the driver because you just sit there and these guys line up and go by you on the straightaway. So the key in this, kind of like restrictor plate racing at Daytona and NASCAR, make sure you're in position to win on the last lap. It helps. Oh, that's the truth. you got to think about that. And right now we've got Skier and McAleer they're hooked up. Maybe those two can uh, do the team travel, you know, the team play. Dean back there one spot further back. You've got Jeff Mosing in one of the Alara cars back there as well. Dean Copeland in that black and orange seven is your leader. Skier in second. You're on board here with McAleer who runs third heading under the bridge. I think Skier's got a little less understeer than McAleer. I saw him pull him. Now they're heading for the kink. We're looking back. 120 mile an hour sweeper. Raising dirt. That's brave. John Dean sitting there in third spot. Fantastic looks from our friends at Replay XD. They provide our onboard cameras in this series and many others that we televise for you. There's Christian Simzak in the 34, the other six sideways car. Starting to get going here. He's in the top five. Wow, and look at Mosing around the outside. Make, pulls off and completes the pass. Dean Copeland in that black and orange seven is your leader. Skier and McAleer fighting it out for second. Skier has it right now. There's McAleer, Jeff Mosing, and then the two six sideways cars. Jeff Mosing is having a heck of a run. I think it's the first time we've seen him this far up front shooting for the win. Had a pretty good day at Mid-Ohio a couple of weeks ago, but really on it here so far this weekend. Not racing this series full time, but look at him break the draft heading up to the bridge. Oh, he had a great run off turn 14, and he's gone right by, I think that's McAleer. And then here's John Dean with an even better run than he had. Dean swings it to the outside, trying to get around Mosing and pick up third, running order top of your screen with four laps complete. Two by two by two. <laughs> it at looks the end like of the this start. Long front stretch. It looks like the start. I don't know if all six of them are going to come out of the corner, but the guys are doing a great job thus far. Christian Simsack moving into the top five from six. There, Malkasian starting to rumble in the 11 car with the Alara team principal, Nate Sparks in the three. Bender in the 18 also getting into the mix. We're on board here with Simzak. Get you back up front. Elliott Skier, our replay XD on board. Look back at Dean Copeland. Skier taking the lead from Copeland. He may not have it for very long. Oh, yeah, you can see that draft working. Come on, Dean. Hey, man, I'm going to armchair quarterback. If I'm Dean, I stay on Skier's bumper and get a gap to the rest of the field. But Dean just wants to lead this stuff. Copeland just want to be in first place. Dean Copeland dives to the inside of the seven car train. Oh, and he's got running room there on the inside. Getting around Elliott's gear. Let's check in with Sylvain Tremblay on pit road. 
Hey guys, Christian Chimshak before the event actually lost his luggage. Doesn't seem to be hurting him right now. He had a borrowed equipment. I think the only thing he had was his helmet. The rest is all borrowed, but it's working for him right now. Something barred and he's not blue. Simzak doing a nice job up in the top five. That's his onboard look. We're taking a look back off the deck lid of his Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup machine. And his teammate John Dean right in the top four there looking ahead of Jeff Mosin. I'll tell you, John Dean's looking really fast to me, but not in this corner. They left him. That's hurry downs, they call it. Our driver's seat coverage continuing here from Road America on the Mazda Motorsports Hour. On board here with Dean, taking a look back at his teammate Simzak in the 34. They ought to be able to hook up and do the, uh, to the team travel. Two cars are faster than one. We've noticed, I think, this season, though, as good as they are together as teammates, they don't do that very often. Yeah, and you know what? I was just bragging about how good John Dean is in the kink, and here Christian Simzak has just kicked his butt through there. He's going to try and then the can of the corner. Taking a look on the outside. The two teammates are side by side. A look back off of Jeff Mosing's replay XD camera. And Simzak is by John Dean and into the next position up. <laughs> the bonsai move there. That should put him in the top five as we work through the early portions of this event at Road America. Race six of an 11-race championship season. Championship winner here, of course, will earn a Mazda Speed Ladder Scholarship to move up in the, the world, perhaps to World Challenge. That's where Michael Cooper, last year's champion, is racing right now up the front straightaway one more time from Mosing up to the bridge and he's got a good run out of 14 again he's gaining on skier sitting in third position you've got some of the big multi-car teams like Alara and you've got some of the privateers Nathaniel Sparks doing a nice job in that fight for seventh of course Dean Copeland has led a lot of laps here today this can be a tough series to contest if you're going it alone as the Copelands are Dean and his dad sometimes field two cars sometimes just one Sylvain has more In the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup, lots of multi-car operations. We got five cars from C.J. Wilson. We got four cars from Lara. Even the six sideways guys this weekend, usually a two-car operation, have stepped up to four cars. At the other end of the garage, different stories. We've got single-car operations with their dads as crew chiefs, moms and dad helping, friends. But one thing they, they do have is a lot of heart. I'm the dad, I'm the crew chief, I'm the truck driver, I'm the sponsor. We, we, we could, we're looking for a sponsor, by the way. But, um, so we do everything on our own. We don't have the other cars that put the data down to overlay data like they do. But Dean gives me good enough feedback. He's been racing since he was 10 years old, and he's able to relate back to me pretty much exactly what the car is doing. Basically, you don't really have all the commodities necessary to overlay data, you know, all the knowledge, the engineers, lots of mechanics, you know. I broke a tranny yesterday, and so it was Dad and I who were fixing it by ourselves. We just don't have all the resources that the larger teams do. Well, you know, we do this in our own garage at home, and really, you know, it's just me and my dad there trying to figure out things, and we're deciding on setup and all that, and that's a real challenge for someone like us. I'm a family practice physician, so I'm busy all day, and we come home at night, and we do what we can to try to uh, get something done to the car and then on the weekend we'll work. With the rules in this series, the cars are fairly well matched, I think. Some of the other teams have more data than us and they can find a setup quicker, but I think the series does a good job of matching the cars up enough to make it where most anybody can compete if they're a good driver. Well, I sure can relate to that bed in the back of the trailer. <laughs> that is old school, that's for sure. Dean Copeland is your race leader. Skier, Mosing, Simzak, and McAleer right behind. Back on the Mazda Motorsports Hour. Glad to have you with us from Road America at Elgar Lake, Wisconsin. I'm Rick Benjamin. Road racing ace Randy Post is alongside. So Lake Trombley joining us for our driver's seat coverage today. He's down on pit road. We've got onboard looks from Brett Mosing and John Dean, Dean Copeland, Stephen McAleer, and many others, courtesy of our friends at Replay XD. They provide these incredible high-definition images out of these race cars. It's been a great battle so far, Randy. It's so realistic watching this race happen from the car. On the front straightaway, going for the lead again. Elliott Skier, the Mazda Speed Driver Development Champion a year ago, won the scholarship to come race in this series. On the outside, takes over the top spot. And you notice Copeland moved to the right. He was trying to hold him off, but he had that run. And once you get that two miles an hour in the draft, you keep it. 
and you can just go by on these long, long straightaways at Road America. Well, it's a chess game, really, and you're seeing a lot of different drivers have opportunities to lead. Skier has it right now. Copeland has led a lot of laps here today. We've had John Dean, Christian Simzak, Stephen McAleer's been up front. Putting yourself in position for that final lap or two, I think, is really the important part of this. That is really what's important, and also, like, the key number two, remember? Draft, draft, draft. Look at these guys. Yeah, you can pass him, but what you want to do is gap yourself from the rest of the field. Jeff Thanks for a great TV show. Yeah, absolutely. Jeff Mosing hooking up there in that draft on the outside, trying to get by Skier with Copeland. Can't do it. Skier will hang on to second as they dive into the left-hander, but we've got a caution. First time today, yellow flag waving. Let's take a look at what happens here. Oh, it's bad. Sam Barnett. Come on, baby. Stay off the wall. Oh, oh too bad. Oh. He Oh, oh, oh. Nathaniel That's Sparks big. up ahead. I see a wheel bouncing down the racetrack. Sparks is three Rick. car heavy damage. Tell you, what, Rick, there's no such thing as a small crash in the kink. No, and there it is up ahead again. Got another onboard oh, look here. I believe that's from Tim Probert's machine. He's able to go to the grass and avoid what happened there. Barnett, okay. safety worker's over to talk with him. He's okay. Safety that's crew good. will run up and check on Nathaniel Sparks' machine as well. But, uh, yeah, Barnett got behind on his steering there a little bit. He and Sparks had tangled up the racetrack a little further. Under caution for the first time here today at Road America. Oh, um, boy, I'll tell you, that's scary because the kink at Road America is the fastest corner anywhere in North America, and there are those walls right there, so there's no room for error. Let's jump on board briefly. Brian Hickson, he is leading here in the Skip Barber Mazda Speed Pro Challenge category as we get this caution about halfway through. We've talked a lot about drafting, how important it is to maintain your momentum. Well, that's the subject of our Mazda momentum today. You got some huge straightaways here. Uh, so when you're in a pack, your corner speed actually doesn't matter too much. Um, you're braking early if you have a car in front of you anyway. The nature of the car not having a roof creates a, a big vacuum behind the windshield and um, you know, you just don't punch through the air good. So you get you get one car running behind a lead car. Both cars go quite a bit faster, more so than in in you know most race cars. Uh, and then if you have a gap back to another car, that guy gets a huge run on people, uh, and it makes a big difference. Drafting is probably the biggest thing here. Uh, we were looking at the data, and we were seeing just incremental gains in the draft that you, can, you can't get any other way. It's Daytona. It's our version of Daytona. It's going to be a 40 minutes, just get in the right position for the last two laps, and then just see what it's got. On this track, our aerodynamics and our speed make it so that nobody can really break away because secondary cars are always going to be faster than the cars in the front. So we always end up here year after year with a big pack of six to eight cars getting away all together and having a, a heck of a good time. Good comment by John Dean about the aerodynamics. With the top off, these are not as aerodynamically efficient as a coupe, and so it magnifies the effect of the draft. You gotta look there at what the open cockpit nature of these Mazda MX-5 Cup machines really is here at Road America and everywhere we go with this series. Back with more in a moment on the Mazda Motorsports Hour. To Road America, our driver's seat coverage today on the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup. Nathaniel Sparks' afternoon comes to an early end in the three car, unfortunately, after that tangle with Sam Barnett. Hey, guys, I'm here with Sam Barnett. Disappointed, of course, because he's been running so well all weekend. Sam, what happened? Uh, Sparks lost it in the kink on exit. He bounced off the outside wall, came across, and I uh, just reacted. I was at the limit. Uh, I think I just overcorrected a little bit. I probably would have hit him anyway, uh, but... Uh, did the best I could with the situation I had. Glad you're okay. Thank you. Very unfortunate. You know what it is? It's a sympathy spin. He saw the trouble ahead, and he's in the middle of the kink, and he had to lift, and it got his car unbalanced, and he didn't overcorrect. He under-recovered. He got the correction in, but didn't straighten it back up quick enough. Just one of those deals. You can see Nathaniel Sparks off to the left, and they're very fortunate. Another car went sailing by left side. Probably not a lot of room to clear those two cars by, but uh, fortunately, everyone okay. Heavy damage to the two race cars. Green flag back in the air, front straightaway at Road America. Heavy action. Christian Simzak, take a look back from his replay XD camera. Arm occasion going by. He may get freight trained here. Down into one. Simzak, late break on the outside. Holds the position and stays ahead of Malkowski. 
great battle for position. Dan Bender in that 18 really showing himself to be a contender today as well. On board here, Christian Simzak looking ahead. Four cars in front of him. McAleer, there's Bender in the 18 on the outside to take a spot away from Dean. Hey, nicely done. Notice how John Dean, where was he? Second, third, a minute yeah. ago? Now he's, he's shuffled way eight. back, yeah. That's what happens in a draft race at Road America. Dean Copeland continuing to lead out of Maryland in that seven car, the Copeland Motorsports entry. A young man with a lot to prove today. Back on board here, this is Stephen McAleer looking back at Simzak, and here comes Aram Alkazian picking up a spot. He's good on the brakes down into turn five. Up over those rumble strips, not an easy place to race, heading to the Corvette Bridge. I love the way you get you get up on turn five, and it's light for a minute as you turn back in. Look at that freight train, just one MX-5 after another top group of how many cars all of them really yeah. are still in this race i'm so impressed with what elliot skier is doing at 17 out of the mazda speed ladder system the driver development scholarship winner a year ago to come racing in this series second spot here road america is a place that can be pretty intimidating for a young driver i'll tell you what that is a great thing to have on your resume because any driver coming out of that mazda scholarship program is a really strong strong guy or gal on board here with Skier looking back. Now, the top two have started to gap the, the uh, group behind him a little bit. That's Jeff Mosing in the Alara car right behind. On board with Mosing. We play XD look off the back deck. Lid sitting third. Taking a look back at one of the C.J. Wilson cars. On board here with Simzak. Got a good run off of the kink again. Uh, John Dean and Christian Simzak are good in the kink. They have the right setup. Late break into Canada. They're trying to reel in that lead pair, and I think they've made it already. On board here with Malkasian, his replay XD camera giving us great looks through the front glass of the 11 car. <laughs> Looks like the sun's in our eyes yeah. as we head up here into turn 13. Back to Simzak's machine. There's a lot of close racing. Oh, yeah. And it Everywhere. just doesn't change. These drivers have got to line up and make a two or three car effort, stick together, and gap the field. It's not happening yet. Getting kind of late in the going here. A handful of laps remaining. Of course, it's a four-mile lap, and with the time brace, you're only going to run 15, 18 laps here when all is said and done. But we're starting to see a lot of single-file running. Is this a case of driver's figure? And it's just as I say that, of course, we have uh, Aramal Cajun and Jeff Mosing moving to the outside to try to pass, going down into the corner. A single file for a while, Rick. It was, huh? yeah. But they keep pulling out to pass, and they're missing an opportunity to solidify the race and at least turn it into a three-car race. It's still an eight, nine, two. 10 car race. Running order top of your screen with 10 laps complete. This is Stephen McAleer's machine. Look at the those Alara cars. Entries. Yeah, they're right lined up, up now. Yeah, third and fourth. Now, can you? is it worth it to look for a teammate? If you were in this event, would you be looking for somebody that had the same paint scheme as you do? Absolutely. Two cars are faster than one, three are faster than two. Look at the draft working right here for McAleer. He's catching up. He's going to try the inside. Malkassian protecting. Not enough. And he's not going to try it. He's not going to stick it down in there. They look three wide briefly. Mosing in third spot ahead of Malkasian in fourth. The two Alara mates. This Mosing one. really driving the heck out of that 12 car today. <laughs> he's doing a great job. I think he might even be able to pull off his first win. See what happens. It's still Dean Copeland and Elliott Skier running 1-2. Clearly McAleer, Mosing, Malkasian, John Dean, Simzak all in the mix, though, as the laps wind down. You know, Dean has been in the lead for a while. So Dean I Copeland. Dean Copeland, yes, sir. And it seems to me like Elliot Skier has decided to try to do exactly what I'm talking about. Stay hooked up, try to get away. Watching Skier, that's him directly in front of the black and blue machine on the inside. Copeland working the high side here through the carousel. I can hear it. They have to do a little bit of a lift there. The MX-5's at 200 horsepower. They got just enough beans. They can't go around there flat. <laughs> and into the kink. This is so fast. Anything goes wrong here, it's going to be bad, like we saw a minute ago. Looking back at Jeff Mosing's machine, Mosing out of Austin, Texas, makes that move. He'll try to bust the draft, takes second away from young Elliot Skier. Oh, yeah, that was forming the one the way he whipped it out of there. But you got to pull out of the draft quick because the car ahead of you actually slows down when you're no longer behind him. Third spot for Mosing. He caught the curb, knocked it sideways a little bit. Leader continues to be Dean Copeland, the black and orange 7. Elliott Skier pushing him now in the 17 car. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if I was in this race, I'd be pushing him all the way down the straightaway. I'll bet you it's not legal. 
Final corner. Up the front straight away. One more time. They'll head up the hill and under the bridge. Put another lap on the board. Okay, Skier's got a little run. He, he's going to pull out. He's going to try for the lead. Is this a matter of seeing what you have? Planning ahead maybe for that last lap? I think so, but look at this. Now we got two cars on the inside. Mosing is hooked up with Copeland because he wants the lead and Skier's out in the out in the, the, the weeds all he's, by himself. Yeah, he, he's been left out on the outside. He's going to get shuffled back to third, put Mosing into second spot in the yellow Alara entry. Yeah, and they get side by side and then fourth, fifth, and sixth place come right back into the fight. On the inside, here come the six sideways mates. Looks like John Dean at the front of that group. And there's Dan Bender in the 18 up behind Christian Simzak. He elbows his way by McAleer for a position. The six sideways team racing with a collective heavy heart here this weekend, memorializing a friend of theirs, Aaron Doty, uh, in a homicide, a victim there in Seabrink, Florida, uh, killed recently at age 21. So our condolences to the family and friends of Aaron Doty. Here in Road America, battling hard for victory today. Dean Copeland trying to come back after a trouble-filled season. He's got about a four-car length lead over Jeff Mosing and his team owner, Aaron Malkasian, as the laps wind down at Road America. Back to Road America, Alcar Lake, Wisconsin. Three wide for second spot on the Mazda Motorsports Hour. And when Christian they go three Simzak. wide, they really punch a hole, and it just sucks McAleer right up in there. Stephen McAleer taking advantage of that. Let's get on board here with McAleer. Take a look back at Jeff Mosing as he swings inside. Elliot Skier battling for position. I wish I was in this race, and <laughs> it's fantastic. But all that side-by-side -side racing is just not a good idea. The idea here is to try to stretch it out, break free of the pack if you can. Copeland looks like he might be on the verge of doing that. Armal Cajun there in second. Then you've got Simzak. You've got Stephen McAleer. And there's Mosing at fifth in front of Dan Bender. Now we're getting down to some single file running lane. I'll tell you what, Bender's had a great run. He's moved all the way up from the 11th starting position. Mosing up there contending for the lead. He's dropped right back. It's incredible how it can go up and down so quickly here at Road America. And it's the draft that's making it happen. And in these Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup machines, any mistake that you make is magnified greatly. You don't have enough power to drive back into contention. Here. You're not going to do it on raw power. But look at Dean Copeland holding that lead. But Aramel Cassian has been slowly working his way up. And he always says that the more he runs, look at that. You know what he's saying? He's saying, line up, line up. He wants to make this a two-car race. He's not one of the youngest drivers in this field, and he knows that's the key to at least getting a second out of this. The career leader in starts in the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup. He's been at it since the first year of the series. Back in 2006, uh, operates things for Alara Racing, of course, chasing one of the young guns, Dean Copeland right now. There's newcomer Christian Simzak, his first year in the series, in front of Stephen McAleer, also making his season debut this year for C.J. Wilson's team. Okay, Malkassian. It's a little bit out of the draft. If he can just get a whiff off of Dean Copeland's car, maybe he can turn this into just a 1-2 race. Stay ahead of Simzak there. I don't think he's close enough. Great looks from our replay XD onboard cameras. Our driver seat coverage today at Road America. Hope you're enjoying it. You get a sense of what these drivers are facing at a place like this. There's Era again motioning. Let's line up in the draft. Look at that. It's working. It is so cool to have that top down and the sun in your face, but it's not good for 125 mile aerodynamics. Alcasian in second behind Dean Copeland. We'll see the white flag next time by here at Road America. Running order at the top of your screen. Tim Probert on his way perhaps to a nice top 10. In front of Brent Mosing, Beth Christ with a good day. She's up to 11th. In front of Emily Timinovich, Molnar is back there at 13th. Dan Mold in 14th. And then you've got Charles Packin back at 15th position. Toward the front of the field, that's Simzak in the white 34. You're on board here with McAleer. McAleer is getting a draft. He's catching up a little bit. The draft has really shuffled the field. You, you never know where somebody's going to end up from one lap to the next. McAleer is not impressing me with his breaking points here into turn five. I think he's not quite got the setup he wants. Up front, it's still Copeland in that black seven car. Malkasian in second. Coming back out of the dirt, so he's dropped into the clutches of Christian Simzak. Copeland is loving that because he's got a little gap again. He's managed to hold this lead a long time. If you've got the advantage, best thing you can see in your mirror is a couple of your competitors fighting side by side, right? You bet. I mean, this is looking good for Dean Copeland right at the moment. And Dean's done a great job of running consistently. 
it's hard to keep the lead here at Road America. We've noticed that. Into the big right hand carousel. Copeland stretches it out even further over our Malkasian. Now, if Malkasian's going to get up there and contend, as he's got Simzak and McAleer behind him, he's got to get those guys to line up and use the draft these next, this next lap and a half. That's going to be it. The carousel is an unusual corner, and it leads into the uh -oh. kink, and we got some trouble. David Knight, one of our Skip Barber Mazda Speed Pro Challenge entries, has obviously gone off hit something that did not yield and bent up the front end of that 97. And drove it back in. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it the, can, the, the Mazda MX-5 is very tough race cars, tough street cars as well. Sure plenty looks of quality, like it. plenty of durability, plenty of reliability, and sometimes the body work not so much. Okay, we're getting near the end of the race, and I think these guys are starting to get more serious about lining up. I, they, they're smarter than I think they am. <laughs> I'm not that smart. Christian Simsack up behind Aramal Cajun in the 11 car. Your leader is still Copeland. White flag in the air. One to go at Road America. Oh, this is exciting. Look at the three cars. Everybody's lining up. They're trying to run down the leader. And they go. They go three wide. Copeland is sitting duck this time. Malkasian gets by to take the lead. Here comes Simzak trying to outbreak him on the outside. Down the outside. Simzak is brave on the brakes. Copeland gets a run back by him. He's going to try him in turn three. He's not going to try him. He's lining up. Malkasian out of Texas continues to be your leader. Copeland in second now as he goes to the inside, takes it back away from Christian Simzak. Here we are on the second long straight, heading for turn five. This could decide the race right here. Whoever leads out of five may well win this race. Copeland did not get a good run, but he's starting to get the draft. Malkasian's protecting the inside. They go through. In the grass. We're in the grass. goes way off course to try to get around, and that <laughs> opens the door for McAleer to come back by. Oh, he's brave, but he lost a position. Top four. Copeland is back into the lead. Malkasian is second. McAleer is third. Simzak loses a lot of ground with that off. He does not have good momentum off of turn five. Dean Copeland back in the lead with a great move into turn five. Now, if you're Copeland and you can break the draft, that's all well and good. If you're Malkasian back there, McAleer, you want to hook up together, try to take advantage of Copeland, and bust that draft and work your way around him in the last mile or two. We have only got a couple of corners to go, but it's a long way to Canada. Copeland's got himself a nice little lead as we head into the carousel. Maybe Malkasian's going to get a little help from behind. That's the only way he's going to catch Copeland if Dean Copeland doesn't make a mistake. From the replay XD on boards of Malkasian's car, we've seen Era motion to the guys behind him. Line up behind me. Help me out here. We'll see if that works. McAleer in third. And the mother's car wax, the C.J. Wilson machine. See if he can get up there and help. Last run through the kink on the limit. McAleer can't get to him. But Alcassian has a good run. Mosing's up here trying to pick up a position. Mosing trying to close in and get around Christian Simzak on board here with Elliott Skier. He's fallen back to sixth as we get the replay XD look off his rear deck lid. McAleer sitting third. Okay, we're coming out of corner. Canada corner, we've only got two turns left. It's going to be one of these three guys. Copeland looking good right now. Dean Copeland, Aram Alcassian, Stephen McAleer, three of our championship contenders. Kevin Copeland, Dean's dad. Tapping the, his foot. Boy, yeah, he's nervous. not saying a thing on the radio. Final corner, heading up the front straightaway. Can Dean Copeland close the deal two years in a row at Road America? Oh, Aero's in a good position. He's got a draft. We're heading for the finish line. Under the oh bridge, heading to the stripe. Copeland is your leader. Malkasian swings out. They rub, they turn. Oh, no! Copeland into oh, the barrier. Malkasian busts down a sign. They go across the line, wrecking hard. Everybody on the brakes. Checkered flag waves. We get a look back here. From the machine of John Dean, there's Malkasian's heavily damaged car. Copeland's car heavily wrecked as well on the front straightaway. We'll have to go back and look at a replay to see who won this one. Dean Copeland. Oh, my gosh. There he is. His car destroyed. Let's take another look at it as they came up the hill. Copeland in the lead. Malkasian swings over. Copeland tries to block, and they get together. I, I, I saw Copeland. I, I think saw. it was Malkasian across the line first anyway. I saw pavement to the left of Eris car, and I don't think that contact had to happen. I'm going to come right out and say it. Wow. That's a shame. That's a big crash for both drivers. And Dean Copeland gets taken out again. <laughs> He's given him a piece of his mind. Copeland was the leader coming up the hill. Malkasian swung left to try to make the pass at the stripe. Dean moved over to block, though, and that's what caused the trouble. He gave him a little wiggle, but he did not run him off the road. And I'll tell you what. They didn't touch very hard at all, no. but those BFGs are sticky, and it just threw the car sideways.
So Two damage down. to the 11 car. Here's Copeland's on board. Look, the replay XD camera should give us a great view of this. Oh, that's big. Oh, I got a lot of bad memories coming back to me. I'm going to have bad dreams about this tonight, Rick. <laughs> oh, man. So our Malkasian being talked to by a safety worker. Malkasian shown as the winner despite the late wreck at Road America. Definitely a dramatic finish, not what we were hoping to see. Uh, tell us what you're feeling. Uh, <laughs> total dejection. I mean, you got to be kidding me. We won the race. R runs all the way in the grass, hits him, and totals the car. Uh, hopefully, R can pay for the car. Yeah, right. So, I mean, you know, he's got enough money. He's got enough cars. He can, he, he can afford to take us out. Not us. We're a single-car team. I think the car's totaled. I don't know what we're going to do. It's pitiful. Plenty of frustration on the part of Kevin Copeland, Dean's dad and crew chief. Looked like they had one in the bag. Aramal Cajun goes across the line first after the wreck. We'll see if the win stands when we come back on the Mazda Motorsports Hour. Our coverage today is brought to you by Mazda. On any given weekend, more Mazdas are road race than any other brand. That's not a surprise because we believe if it's not worth driving, it's not worth building. Well, you know, Rick, we got a big crash from a small touch. If it hadn't been tire to tire, it'd have been all right. Dean Copeland's car going on the hook. Meantime, our winner, Aramal Cajun, is with Sylvain. Just incredible last lap. I mean, please walk us through what the heck happened. You know, this track always is a high risk because of the high speeds, and um, we put our trust in each other um, to not do anything dangerous because the potential for what just happened is always right there, the whole race. And it was a pretty good race. There was a couple of minor, you know, scuffing, banging here and there, nothing heavy. And uh, Dean made two moves on the straight, and I don't understand. He just pushed me right into the grass, like, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so disappointed because I thought we had a better relationship than that. It really hurts to, to see him do that to me and then come over and accuse me of doing something to him. All I did was trying to make a pass. I moved to the right. He went to the right. I moved to the left. He came back to the left. You can't. You just can't do that. You just can't do that. But I'm, I'm glad we had a great car and we won the race. A lot of racing has uh, put together a great car. And uh, we sort of worked our way from behind, did a smart race. And, and everything worked exactly the way I was planning for it. I was second under the white flag like I wanted to be. And uh, we you know, came up for the win. And, and uh, I think we got the win. I'm not sure. What, uh, what was the scoring? We're still not. <laughs> well, you know what? Dean Copeland wanted that so bad after this season. And then he made, he made two moves. Yeah, it appeared that way. Copeland gets credit for second in front of Stephen McAleer. Simzak and Mosing, Jeff Mosing, your top five. Elliot Skier falls to six. Beth Christ with a good outing. She comes home 11th, one of her better runs this year, in front of Emily Timinovich, Molnar, and Mold, Packlin, and Nate Sparks. Tough day against Sam Barnett, tangling early on. Brian Hickson is the winner of our Skip Barber Mazda Speed Pro Challenge category, uh, ahead of Zachary Lee and David Knight. Here's our third place finish. Stephen, great result for you, but most importantly, you were able to drive the car back. The guys in front of you didn't do that. Tell me from your point of view, what what happened? Uh, yeah, I mean, last last lap there, I was just trying to get myself in position. I'll be honest, I didn't really have much for, for the whole group. I just managed to get lucky, kind of picking my way through them. And when we were going up the hill there on the last lap, it looked like Dean was in the middle of the track squeezed Ada to the outside and as soon as he pushed them on the gas I knew they were going to have contact and uh, that's probably the slowest motion sideways MX-5 I've ever seen right in front of my car I just stood on the brake pedal with two feet as hard as I could and managed to get around it but uh, it was pretty skatey all right, so Stephen McAleer comes home in third, but as we take a look at the championship standing, six races complete in our 11 race season. Track crew go to work to straighten out the jersey barriers. McAleer back out in front. Now, SCCA Pro Racing officials have penalized Dean Copeland 30 points for the infraction, the contact with Aramal Cajun. You know, when you're going down a straight, you get to choose right or left, and Dean chose both. Can't do that. That's why the 30 point penalty. A wild one at Road America. Aramal Cajun gets his first victory of the season. For Randy Pope, Sylvain Tremblay, I'm Rick Benjamin. We congratulate the winner, Aramal Cajun. We'll talk to you next time on the Mazda Motorsports Hour.